Okay. Um, good evening, Hi, everyone. <laughs> it's Pi and Simone, and we are um, streaming this evening our um, Jello and Pell No panel. And Pi actually is supposed to be the MC, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> I thought this was called Show and Gel. We we never agreed on the name for this. No, it is Show and Gel. I'm sorry. I, show and Gel. I just really thought that Jello or Hello thing was funny, and I'm just really excited to use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming though. It's coming. Uh, so hi, welcome everybody. Um, welcome to Jelly July, a joyful gelatinous day fashion event. Our big thing today is uh, we're going to go through some, look at some DIY creations. We're going to look at some cords. Uh, I'm going to toast the hell out of them. No roasting because uh, jelly will melt when you roast them. Um, and also do some fun chat activity. So if you're in chat, uh, make sure to pay attention because we'll be asking for your help for a few things. But first, let's do some introductions. Curious Maiden, if you would like to tell us about yourself, your pronouns, uh, your fit, your cord, and if you have brought a delicious dessert for us to share this yes, evening. Of course. So, hi, I'm Curious Maiden. My pronouns are she, her. Sorry, I, I forgot to put them in my name. Um, but uh, you may have already seen my outfit if you were here this morning. If not, I have, I'm wearing Jane Marple's anniversary cake print, which has a little crown jelly prominently featured on it. Um, and so good. I know it's one of my favorites. Um, and what jelly do I have today? So I, uh, as I mentioned in this morning's panel, I made myself a little champagne <gasps> jelly. With um, it has a strawberry that's kind of, maybe don't look too close to that part <laughs> um, because the strawberry plus boiling jello means it turned kind of an unattractive yellowish color. And it's also very, uh, you can see there isn't a lot of jiggle here. It's just kind of solid, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. It hopefully will. It smells fine. So oh, you know, that's we'll good. Champagne. I'm sorry. Uh, champagne. Champagne. Yeah. That's Very it. fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's me. How about you, Pi? Uh, hi, I'm Plentiful Pi. I go by she, her, and. Um, my core today is I'm too lazy. I'm supposed to dress like I don't know the milk the milkshake like the fifties waitress kind of thing. Got my dumb hair tie. I'm wearing I'm wearing the apron. Oh, I love it. Can't even see it. Uh, but let's uh, stop the court chair from that point on. It just goes downhill from there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's just full disclosure. I am wearing yoga pants. So it's not just you. <laughs> Good job. Um, I had to learn off how to pronounce Shafroy because it was an experience. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you can tell, none of us know Pi is the best at French, the rest of us. No, 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 no. My, Mani is the one uh, who is a French expert. Um, I'm yeah. just skating by a little bit. Um, for my dessert, this was a little bit of struggle, but I made um, a little, I think, parf I don't know if parfait is the right word. Um, <laughs> This is from a uh, Kelp's Jelly Journal. Uh, there was an alcoholic jelly that was like a quick uh, mint creme, but uh, I don't have that. I don't like mint, so I replaced it with uh, tequila soda. Oh, there! Oh God, there's still some left. I need to chug all that. Uh, so there's a strawberry, uh, quick, quick, alcoholic, uh, frothy jello thing here. Uh, I don't have any whipped topping or whipped cream. So this is Greek yogurt that has been uh, standing in. And there's some kiwi because that's the, all the fruit that's over here. So uh, my family tried it and said it was great and tell me to make it again, which I'm never going to. Um, but yeah, cheers. Yeah, um, that sounds delicious. Well, cheers to you too, Pi. Yeah, cheers <laughs> to, to that. And we'll be eating that throughout the evening. So I made something completely different. Exactly. I saw a recipe. I was like, I'm going to do something completely different. And that's what happened right there. Like uh, so welcome, everybody. And uh, first, oh, next slide. I don't know the, the motion for next slide. But first, we're going to do something. Uh, the first round of Jello or Hell No. Um, just to have a quick explanation. Um, 
we are going to post the chat a question and we are going to ask you to vote on the question based on your opinions or based on your experiences. Um, do not lie. We will know if you lie on the internet. Um, before you answer the question, though, uh, Purus Maiden and I will be making a prediction to about the answer, about the role, about the final outcome of the question. Um, and if we guess the prediction correctly, we get to have a spoonful of our delicious jelly treats. Um, and if we don't, we're going to have a punishment. Uh, Purus Maiden, what is your punishment that you have brought? So uh, the original plan was supposed to be jello powder, but all mm -hmm. I had was plain gelatin powder, which is too much. Um, so I have Metamucil as a substitute <laughs> because it was the closest I could get. You know, people eat that, right? Like, it's no, I know. I usually, I like, I have it in my house because I, I, you know, take it for the intended mm -hmm. purpose. But you know, I guess just gonna kind of freewheel it here today to have freewheel. it with water. <laughs> <laughs> Without water, okay. Um, I do have um, I suppose to cover the branding. I guess I do have a little bit of the the leftover Jello powder, um, from the strawberry. So, gonna have it raw, baby. <laughs> Don't quote that. Um, all right, so get that fiber. Yeah, get that fiber, Queen. Is yeah, everyone I, getting enough fiber? It's part jelly event and part uh, ad for fiber supplements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish that was our um, beneficiary uh, this time. Uh, it's 2020. <laughs> uh, the average age of Bay Area members is just have Metamucil in their house. That is <laughs> very true. Um, so the first question is. Uh, where is the first question? What is your favorite type of jello? And Purus Maiden, please type your prediction in the private chat so we know. All right. So I'm typing my prediction in the private chat. Perfect. And now I will start a poll in the chat. Once I get that going. Wait, 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 wait. You guys wait. did the same thing. Is that okay? That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. That's this fine. is our prediction for what yeah. we think the audience is going to do. Yeah. Okay. And we think the audience is going to have some yeah. good taste. We, we could both be in the depths. Okay. Of you can both be, can correct, both be on both the be steps wrong. of heaven. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Clarifying that. Goodbye. Good clarifying <laughs> that. You can also play along if you want. Yeah. If you want to play along, but maybe without the punishment part, you just yep. put some below. Oh, good. Something went wrong. Hold on. Let me <laughs> refresh the page. Don't vote yet. Are people voting yet? People don't vote yet. Yeah. Don't vote yet. Okay. Don't vote yet. It's going to say, oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. And Is also, I there you go. So. The, it started. So please vote in the chat now. And also, Kelp is right. Uh, Black Cherry is the best jello, hands down. Yeah. Really, no question about it. But that wasn't, it's not one of the most popular ones. So, all right, please vote now. And we'll, um, we'll close the voting after. Yeah. So, it? Oh, it has a timer on it. Oh, okay. Closes in three seconds. Okay. All right. All right. You can no longer vote in this poll. <laughs> Shut Perfect. it down. All right. Shut it so, down. Pi, what was your prediction? Uh, I guess strawberry. I um, also guess strawberry. I strawberry. As told everyone. Um, but I was interested no, in finding out that. Everyone. I said, oh, that's know. fine. The poll is done. I mean, you, so. you told everybody that we voted the same. That was yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I did. Okay. That was another <laughs> <laughs> Um Okay. And the poll says strawberry. Yay. Yay. So we get to have a spoonful of our delicious treat now. So right. cheers. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Also, I just this is so firm that the spoon is. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be weird. All right. It's I have never I've never cheers. tasted this, but I hope it's good. All right, cheers. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Mm. Good stuff. Can't really taste the tequila, but um there's more where that comes from. <laughs> Later in the, I, I, I like, I, I couldn't use the whole thing, so I had to. Mm. 
-hmm. leave some behind. Mm -hmm. That means you've got um, more for later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more, more for later. All right. Uh, that was great. And let's move on to our next part, which is the... The DIY-licious showcase. Um, we have got two whopping entries this time, but much appreciated. Yeah, huge for those two. Huge shout out to the two people who made us fabulous treats to show off. Uh, that's that's what it's all about. You're both winners it? in my heart. You're both winners in our hearts. Uh, but in the end, it, there can only be one winner. Uh, and honestly, are we? Are, is the voting after or during the stream? After, uh, during. Okay. Yeah, so get your type in fingers ready. Um, we're gonna do voting for the um, voting for your favorite entry after we show both of them. So yeah, be ready. So get excited. please have your typing fingers uh, on the ready. So did you get my entry though? Yes, Mani. We will have our bonus secret third entry as yeah. well. <laughs> You, just, you can't win a prize in the voting, but you've already won the prize in all of our hearts. After exactly, exactly. Um, so let's see the next slide and look at our first entry. Um, this entry, yes. Ooh, this is like entries by Lace Vampire. Um, and they said, I decided to make a favorite dessert of mine, a coffee jelly. This jelly is made of agar agar, which creates a fun springy texture that's different from Jello. And then the cubes are floated in a blend of sweetened condensed milk and cream. Um, I added a shot of espresso to create a gradient effect. So you can see at the top right there and topped it off with some whipped cream. Uh, this recipe is adapted from Foxy Foxy and recreated right here in this stunning picture. Look at it. This looks uh, amazing. Like I, so I have kind of in the last year become like a sweet coffee drink person, mm -hmm. and this seems like it would be right up my alley. Please come to my house and make me a coffee jelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love how like I love the color. It's like, you know what? Like I wish like this is like a wearable, or, like it's like a crown. You know, oh, like yeah. it's like serve for like. A king. It's like fit for a dessert fit for a king. That's what this it. reminds me of. That's I was so actually crazy. thinking of a uh, you know those like big plastic bangles. I was thinking that mm. would be designed with like the layered cream and the jelly would be mm -hmm. like a bangle or like a choker or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, it looks so good. <laughs> good job. It looks so good. Yeah, coffee jelly. Honestly, it's amazing. The Chinese talking about tea jellies. Can you make jelly off tea? So. I actually did make an iced tea jelly too oh. for tea tomorrow because it, you know, it felt on theme. So, yeah. Nice. I yeah. might have to look that up. I it, I didn't use a recipe. I just kind of like, it was kind of like a freewheeling thing of like, mm. uh, you know, putting some tea with some gelatin with a lot of sugar. And then I did a oat milk layer, like a sweetened oat milk layer on top. Oh, that's yeah. fancy. So, and I think tomorrow I'll put like a little rose syrup on top to really. Nice. Yeah. Cause like I've been making a lot of like milk tea, like iced milk tea at home. So maybe I just jelly that up. Yeah. That's, that's good. That was gelatin that popsicles. Ooh, that's good. There's just, there's just enough jelly to go year round at this rate. <laughs> I know. Everybody's been like sharing all these good recipes and it's like, when am I gonna have time to make them all? I know. Uh, okay, so yeah, beautiful presentation and that must have been really delicious. Thank you, for Lace Vampire, for sharing your treat with us. Um, next, oh, Lace Vampire is in the chat too. Hello. Yeah. I hope you're enjoying uh, the program. Next slide, we have Phasmagorical. Phas that Phasmagorical. Can you say it again? I think it's phantasmagorical. Nice. Whatever she said is the correct pronunciation. Um, this is what they said. Uh, I made a strawberry dessert spread inspired by the summer jello theme. A strawberry vanilla floating jello dessert, Ooh. a strawberry jello pie, and a berry cream cheese baskets. 
As it turns out, arranging and photographing Jello and cream-based desserts in warm weather is a bit of an extreme sport. Yeah, Kelp can definitely tell you that, and Kelp can definitely relate. Um, <laughs> you look at it. I know. Oh, I mean, it's you, a whole spread. I never would have known you had some difficulties. Like you killed it. Mm -hmm. I am. Please take me to the strawberry jelly party. I want to. Moni and I are like packing up and on mm -hmm. the way to you right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, this like look at the pie and like the cream piping job. They didn't send a um, close up. Yeah, she didn't send a close up of the pie, but um, yeah, just the piping on it, the presentation of this whole spread. It's just ah, oh, it looks so good. It's me. <laughs> I know, and I love the jelly, like the pie looks amazing. And I feel like it's very on brand of pie to love the pie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, I think my favorite is the strawberry dessert where it's got like the cream center and the outer jelly layer. Mm, like having yeah. that layered gelatin dessert is really tricky. So mm -hmm. I'm so, I'm like really impressed. That's super cool. Yeah, it's so, it's like, like, you know, like the, the, the shininess of it photographs really well, you know, like that's part of the, allure of jello and like yeah it's just it's the just cute little dome shape and the cream is just like everywhere it's just oh, it's so good oh, i can't believe they made this whole spread i know and I, like, like i hope you had a fun time eating it afterwards please let us know mm -hmm. <laughs> please let us know how it tastes yes. and the little baskets too like the little like berries um cream cheese so cute it's so cute it's so adorable thank you can you say the name again? Can you say the name? Oh, phantasmagorical. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Yes, thank, thank you. I thought you were going to say my name and I was like, I could. <laughs> More pie content. This is the pie content, people. This, have is, been the pie content, this right? is the pie content. But thank you so much, phantasmagorical. This is like an amazing spread. Please invite us to your house next time you do some cooking because. Mm -hmm. I, I want to eat your food. <laughs> mm -hmm. We want some of this jelly goodness. All right. So, uh, oh, we have a special third entry. Uh, next slide. <laughs> <laughs> um, Toki, uh, Mani has uh, graciously submitted this entry. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about those beans right here. Uh, we just want we just want to take a moment to appreciate this meme. Um, it's it's a good meme. It's a good it's, look at that effort. You know, they they cut out around those individual beans just to put it onto this picture. Beautiful. Honestly, Beautiful. It's, the only regret I feel like we're maybe like a few months too soon because in September um, they're dropping a bean emoji, and I think uh, this meme is really a little before its time. We're so mm -hmm. close to the bean emoji. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's just, it's a good meme. Yeah. Yeah. And bean hype. Bean hype and edible wisher. I hope you can I hope you can find jelly candy toys someday. It's it's a cute she's a cute one. Mm -mm. A, cu a cutie right there. Yeah. Yep. A moment of uh silence for beans. Yeah. Think about those beans. Good beans. <laughs> Imagine a jelly bean pie. I cannot. <laughs> yeah, I I think that I'd rather not. <laughs> Is it just like a pie crust that's been filled with like jelly beans and like you cut into it and just beans all spill over? Well, I feel like if you baked the, it, so <laughs> the pie crust, so I, I've spent too much time thinking about this, but like if you, you know, make the traditional pie that's closed on the top and the bottom, then in the middle, it would just be like a melted mass of jelly beans. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you could cut it. I don't know if you want to eat that. I, I think it gets like once you melt it, it gets like harder, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like a bean. It was from a bean, and once it melts, and it's just like a hard bean, right? But at that point, hard bean. Well, the proposal is it could be suspended in Jello, but wouldn't the jelly beans melt in the Jello? Uh, wouldn't it? Or no? Would they hold their shape? Because it has got the sugar shell on it. I think I don't because. I think if it would, I think if you, I'm trying to think of how to do it. Maybe if you did like a quick set jello so it wasn't too mm. hot, but I feel like it would still like, they'd start to dissolve. They wouldn't really keep their shape unless you really put them right mm. on top of the end, which you could do. True, true, true. Yeah. yeah. But okay. just a warning guys, hot jelly beans, dangerous, very sticky, can burn. 
we're we're now we're now back to Keisha. All yeah. right. Sure, that was uh, but if you're hot and dangerous, you can come roll with us. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, may maybe you can. Okay. Okay. Um. So next, uh, we are going to conduct the voting for our uh, DIY Let's Just Showcase. So the next slide will show the two entries that we have that we have received. Um, and let me put up the banner right there. And we're gonna ask the chat uh, to vote for our, uh, to determine the winner. Is it going? It is. It says a poll has opened. Sweet. So yes, please go now. Vote, vote, vote. There are two minutes. Yeah, I like man. Yeah, looking at the, I'm gonna eat some more of my jelly now. I'm just hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I gotta the. Oh, yeah, we can we can we can chill out and eat some of our. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, I would say next time I make this, the strawberry was kind of not. I thought I was like really clever with this little strawberry, but I used frozen strawberry, and that wasn't. Mm -hmm. Bad call. Not good. Not jelly good. is a word. Sorry, let me get a little closer so you can hear the jiggle. Maybe, maybe like I'll just keep streaming and just it'll just be us. You know, I did make uh, six cups of this, so we well, can keep going. We can keep. Yeah, going. I have another one uh, of these, the the big ones. Ooh. Okay, I forgot you said you had a lot more tequila soda. So. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, I tried to make it with lime because I, I did a test run with lime. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, but I made it using margarita mix. <laughs> and it was like just way too tart. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I tried it today with tequila soda and like the gelatin would not set. Like it wasn't just like frothy, foamyness. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, oh no, I have to start over. So I used strawberry instead. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like you saved it. You yeah, made I the, saved it. Mm -hmm. Mostly the mukbang content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that that would be the dream. I wish I I wish I ran the Lolly the mukbang um, channel. <laughs> you can't. Oh god. Yeah, it's I mean, just a different pie. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody. Voting is closed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the votes. And the winner is Phantasmagorical. Um, yay. Congratulations. Um, yay. Congratulations. And uh, is there a prize? There is a prize. There's a I prize. Yeah, so I will, um, I'll reach out via email in the next couple of days to coordinate getting your prize to you. Um, it's not much, but we do appreciate your entering and we want to, we know that jelly is its own reward, but we also want to reward everyone for putting themselves out there and mm -hmm. taking in the effort to do awesome food photography because it's hard as hell. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like both of these entries just like, not even just the creation, but the photography of it just beautiful just letting that jelly shine you know oh yeah you yeah. can really see the jelly glistening i love it exactly uh, so also i uh, am with edible wishes i i did get very into jelly between the time this event was announced and now and i definitely like my fridge has been broken all month and so i've just been buying like little every time I go to the grocery store, I'll buy like one little cup of Jello is my little treat. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Like, honestly, though, like for a while, um, I made like panna cottas. Like I, I didn't. It was the same thing, right? Like I didn't register like panna cotta is a type of gelatin dessert, but like I was making tons of panna cotta, um, with like Nutella and also like tea and like all that mm. stuff. So definitely. Jelly, jello has always been there. So. I know. Now I'm getting like some ideas. Like, what about like an Earl Grey panna cotta? I made that, and it's delicious. If you want some hookups, like recipe hookups, let me know. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hit you up later for that. Hit me up for that. All right. Um, thank you everyone for voting in the chat. Uh, your votes, uh, your participation in this democratic process is extremely important. 
uh, in this. In your civic duty. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, and next part, we're going to do a little bit more audience participation with more. Next slide. Jello or <laughs> hell no. Um, so our next audience question is Have you ever done a jello shot in your life? Have you ever done a jello shot? So please type your prediction in right. the private chat. Prediction in. <laughs> prediction in, and I'm going to start the poll as well as put the thing in there. So have you ever in your life done a jello shot? Um, do you do you remember the first time you've done a jello shot? Have you ever done a jello shot, Prismi? Yeah, I so I've uh, done I went to college in Arizona um, in the age where to give you like an idea of the timeline. Um, when Four Loco had just come out. So it was, there were a that lot of time. shots um, in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, first time I ever did a jello shot, I told the first part of this story earlier where um, we got a gallon of a vodka in a plastic bottle, um, Wolf and Schmidt's brand for I think $15. Um, and then we made jello shots and it was like for a friend's party and they were so disgusting. Like I, I had one and I had already had a couple of drinks and it was so bad. I immediately threw up and did not have a jello shot again for five years. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So um, it was a dark time. It was a dark time. Um, so it was for like a, my brother's friend's party. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was like, he wanted like a small party. So he rented like a hotel room so that we could, you know, get trashed and stay there if we needed to. And my sister-in-law is a nurse okay. and she stole a bunch of, not steal, not really. Okay. Uh, she got a bunch of those like sterile syringes. Mm. And so she, she made literal jello shots, like. It was, she used a syringe, she filled it up, like pulled it up, filled it up with the jello, and then like refrigerated it so that you could shoot the jello shot right into your mouth. So it's like, comes like all shredded and stuff it, as it goes into your mouth. Mm -hmm. So that's my one experience with jello shots. They were li literal jello shots. Were they good? Yeah, they were good. They were highly alcoholic <laughs> and yeah. um, the shredded texture lets it melt in your mouth faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that mm -hmm. really, that'll mm -hmm. fuck you up. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> the the result is uh no. Oh, <laughs> the no. majority of the chat has not done jello shots. Well, you know what? Good for you guys for being responsible adults. <laughs> Good for you guys. Um uh, so how did you get, what did you guess, Pi? Uh, I voted yes, because I thought it was a common experience, but um, not with yeah. this chat. I did too, because I think everybody I knew in college did Jell-O Sot, so I just assumed. Um, so I know, also, if it makes you feel better, I also didn't have a normal undergrad experience. Mm. All right. The, the Jell-O Shot thing was, the I think, the only party I went to in college. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, we assumed poorly yes yeah we fucked up so all right <laughs> all right punishment. all right hold on i have to fish some of this jello powder out all right here the, they're just the same how do i how do they just tip some in my mouth yeah i, I have a little good. spoon spoon oh. i'm eating it i don't know how to do this um, hold on i guess i'll use this spoon is that cheating? Okay, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll just tip some in my mouth. There you go. Yeah, you know, I don't say it. Like the taste isn't bad, but the texture is all wrong. <laughs> like eating a mouthful of sand. <laughs> you okay, bye. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Pai, I love your feedback on how what it was like to eat a spoonful of jello. Oh my god. Okay. 
I still in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, yes, mm. so don't do jello shots or eat jello. Oh, Jesus. oh God. Okay. All right. Um, the thing is, like, it, it's got that sand texture, right? But what's worse is that um, I started laughing and like there's like this inhale of like just the the, the powder. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. good stuff, good yeah. stuff. And that's why you don't want to mess up Jello or Hell No. Yeah, <laughs> you so want that, it gives us some incentive to vote a little better. <laughs> yeah, it gives us a vote a little better because um, I have some more of my tasty jelly and not another fucking spoonful of Metamucil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please don't play the don't, gel. Don't, don't. Don't. don't recommend. Don't. No. Okay, I need some water. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please. The Jello powder challenge is dissolving your Jello. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Should not have gone for the sugar-free option, man. Mm. That, that really... Gets in there. You want to do another one, or or should we go on to the chord contest? Let's uh let's do the chord contest before. All right. I need a all break. Right. I need a power. All right, all right. We need we need a break. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, so next part, next slide. Uh, we have the chord share and contest. Yay. So we have a few entries this time, a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> the sign of people sending in their chords, and we're gonna. Have Toast the hell out of them, and at the end there will be an audience vote for the most for the winner, and the winner will also receive a small, small prize. Yeah, small. and also just to clarify, so the chord contest is nominally jelly themed, um, but I do just at least for me as a judge, um, I'm really excited to see the creative ways that people interpret jelly coordinates beyond wearing a jam print or a jello print. Um, yeah. And I really, I don't know if anybody did this, but I just, I want to put it out there now because I haven't seen the chords yet. This is a surprise. Oh, okay. This is uh, a reverse surprise. Okay. Yeah, it's a surprise for me, but I, it is my deepest wish that somebody do a gel, either a jellyfish coordinate or mm. A jiggly cheesecake coordinate. Um, Ooh, yeah. I just, I, I'm putting that out into the universe now. Maybe my wish will come true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see our first entry. Uh, it's from Beck L. Uh, they have a Facebook at Beck Liberator, and their inspiration for this coordinate was strawberry picking, because oh. of course you need strawberries for your Jello. Um, they said that I wanted something casual and cute. And of course, my dog, Tucky, had to match with his little bow tie. And you can see the little strawberry bow tie over so there. It is very cute. I love um, I love this, um, the gingham, the, uh, I love this fabric um, on dresses. And it's just, it's just so summery and like strawberry. And the doggo is also batching as well so yeah i love i love the dog and for me the combination of like the gingham on top of the um strawberry border print kind of evokes the feeling of like a jam jar with you know uh how sometimes you can buy the jam jars that have the little piece of gingham fabric mm -hmm. on top and mm -hmm. then um you know the fruit on the bottom so that's kind of the feeling that it gives off to me and i love mm -hmm. it and i also yeah just brownie points for your cute dog um mm -hmm. I'm so so yeah. In the future, if you want, if you want some brownie points and more compliments in the coordinate contest, send in your dog pics. So yeah, it turned out so cute. Good job! Oh, they're in the chat. Uh, Tucky was very very excited to take pictures. He's such a Tucky is the perfect OG accessory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Gotta upgrade your OG accessories. I know. Boyfriends, yeah. 2020, 2021 mm -hmm. for babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for submitting. Just this is beautiful. I love that fabric on dresses. It's just so good. I used to have, yeah, I think I used to have like many dresses <laughs> with that fabric on it. I know. So, oh, I and the hat. Just notice the hat that's like matching with pink and red as well. So summery. <laughs> Amazing. All right. I'm still feeling the jello. <laughs> 
still feeling the Jello. How are you still feeling the Metamucil? Mm, no, it didn't no? stick to the okay. mouth. It's just me. <laughs> I think you when you inhale it, you know that mm -hmm. that really changes mm -hmm. it. Um, that changes things, man. That that does something to you. Um. All right. Next slide. We have uh, Chuzzy oh, um, at Chuzzy Bear. Oh, and Chuzzy's also in the chat, I think. Yeah, Chuzzy's also in the chat. Um, thank you for coming. Hi, Eric. How are you doing? Um, they said that this dress that I'm wearing is Innocent World Strawberry Jam. Since jam is similar to jelly, I figure it would be great for this event. The motifs on this dress included strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, flowers, biscuits, and different types of jam. So you can see the print at the border, very beautiful with the cute matching bag, basket bags, very summery. Are there strawberries on the hat? I think they are strawberries on the hat, yes. So cute, I love it's it. so cute, I know, there's little strawberries on the hat. So oh my cute. God, it's very adorable. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, it's very adorable, but I know. <laughs> I really love this. Too. I first of all, I love that strawberry is like the summer fruit. It's one of my favorites, and I really like. I think strawberries are probably like my second favorite fruit print motif after mm. apple, and definitely my mm. first favorite for summer. And I love mm -hmm. that this. I think traditionally for summer, strawberries are like more of a bright red, and I love this kind of darker red, burgundy, like casual classic take. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I love the strawberries on the hat um, and like matching the straw hat with the straw basket is super summery. I love that combination um, as well. And then little cuffs, you know, like can't go wrong with summer cuffs, you know, short sleeves, cuffs, such an adorable combination. I just, yeah, it's so good. <clears throat> good job. Yeah, good job. Yeah. Uh, excuse you, we all know that from Jelly July Journal that the summer fruit is orange. <laughs> I mean, I was actually thinking orange would be appropriate to put on a jam print because orange peels have one of the highest pectin concentrations of any fruit. So mm -hmm. pre-industrial uh, production of pectin, um, a lot of the time they would add orange peels to jam to help mm -hmm. it spread um, mm -hmm. didn't have pectin. Anyways. <laughs> sorry, I'll, uh, sorry I'm, I'm just going to eat my gel. <laughs> Talk about eating orange. Wait, what? Is there some lie in there? What? What's up? I think I I think someone like one time or Pierre Spanin one time told like a story about how she used to eat a lot of oranges to avoid um scurvy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So fun um Pierce Maiden history story. When I was a kid, I used to read a lot. Um, and I would just like read anything I get my hands on. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I read this book about pirates for some reason. Um, as and, we all do. Yeah, as you do. And so it had this whole chapter about how if you get severe scurvy, your jaw oh. will like rot off or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I was seven. I was terrified. Um, so for many years, I ate like an orange a day to ward off scurvy <laughs> because I was like, I was complete, like scared completely shitless of getting scurvy. Um, but I do have to say, for the record, it worked. Uh, I mm -hmm. am, um, I'm now over 30 and I haven't gotten scurvy once in my life. Exactly. So it's, it. mm -hmm. it's working. <laughs> I was you scared. <laughs> anyway, scurvy. Yeah, but scur scurvy is a real thing. Get your vitamin C, guys. Yeah, um, get your vitamin C, but also you can get the amount of vitamin C that you need to avoid scurvy by eating like an apple every couple days or something yeah yeah just just don't something like, you know yeah. don't be like me and kill a pound of tangerines a day because you're afraid of getting scurvy mm -hmm. <laughs> shout out to the scurvy preventing yeah it's uh i like that there's a public service message here too <laughs> yeah of course of course um okay uh thank you chazzy for submitting uh very okay. adorable very cute uh next slide we have tori or at pink butterfly underscore underscore um it says tori was inspired by a box of jello cheesecake uh here we go here we go uh that she found in the pantry 
So using the same reds and pinks from the box in her coordinate. She was also inspired by the fashion of the 1950s, as evidenced by the 50s look with the oven and the box of Jello cheesecake. Um, join us for scurvy awareness September soon. Where are we doing? Is that is that no, a, is that our pirate event? No, no, is no. Is that our pirate like, event for it's the September? Orange October. It's going to be orange themed, and then we'll donate to a scurvy prevention charity. Charity, come on, come on. Oh God. Okay. So <laughs> so orange October. You heard it here, guys. Orange October, um, combined with scurvy awareness. Um, but that's going to be pirate and orange themed. Yes, so please look forward to it. Um, but in all seriousness, this coordinate is so cute. And I am so glad that my wish of a cheesecake coordinate came mm -hmm. true. I mm -hmm. love the subtle pink and white accents with the little mm -hmm. um, shock of pink on the face as well. It's just adorable. Everything about it is perfect. <laughs> yeah, I love the rings. Like they got a little like heart cake pink ring as well, with the necklace. Yeah, I love the um, I love the photo photography. Actually, they did like oh, this like whole little story of like <laughs> this. Box. I know, I know. The box in the oven is really funny to me for some reason. <laughs> um, and I also really love the photo. I can't stop looking at the photo on the far side over here. Mm -hmm. It's like eating the box. Like it's yeah. very cute. <laughs> I love it. It's very cute. Move over, honey cake box. We need a Jello cheesecake box. Bag, please <laughs> not to be cheesy but dreams do come true i know uh, if any indie designers are out there listening um mm -hmm. and you want to make me a jello box mm -hmm. jello box bag let yeah. us know please <laughs> yeah we'll collab for orange october <laughs> yeah grammary canceled <laughs> it's orange october now move over grammary <laughs> move over grammary we don't need We'll need this. We need uh, scurvy awareness month. Yeah. yeah, and the hair ties with like the pink and red. It's very cute. I know. I love all of the like. It's clear like each detail you really thought through, mm -hmm. and I just love it so much. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So thank you, Tori, for submitting your coordinate. Very cute, and all the photos as well. Uh, and next we have our final entry. We have Kai. Uh, goes by Ve and Ver um, at Kaiten 109. And this is our Agejo Gyaru outfit. Um, they said, uh, they said, this Agejo Gyaru uh, cord was worn at the first convention I got to go to post pandemic. And it was a great way to start my summer. The top is Mars and the skirt is handmade. Okay, hold up. Cute. Just want to say, nice. I love Gyaru stuff. And I love Mars, but the fact that you were handmade a skirt, like that's top tier thrifty Gyaru stuff right here. I also so. thought like I recognized the Mars top, but I thought mm -hmm. the skirt was Mars too. So you did a really good exactly, job. Exactly, exactly. And like I love the the tight I think it's like a tight plus like fishnet combo, like the pink and black. It's so good. <sighs> it's so good. Like it, it's such a look. It's it's oh, it's such a look. It, it's not something like you can pull off like just like that, you know. Like, yeah. so I love that so much. I know. Yeah, I also really love that you you know everybody else kind of took this theme in like a lighter color direction, and I love that you did the black and pink color mm -hmm. combo. Like, mm -hmm. it's so striking, and it's one of my absolute uh, favorites. And I mm -hmm. especially I like I said the pink fishnet, the way that they layered the pink fishnets over the black tights mm -hmm. it really pops and it looks incredible uh, so after they did a great job after my heart yeah pink and black though like undeniable like underrated summer color combo pink and black coordinates just always like hit a little bit different for me <laughs> exactly it just it just hits you a little bit uh fun, fun fact when i first started my lolita wardrobe um i looked up to uh one lolita in particular and she had a whole black and pink wardrobe and i thought like oh when i when i grow up <laughs> when i when i get to you know build my lawyer wardrobe my wardrobe is going to be black and pink just like hers and look where it is now and it's i was nice. gonna say you do have a lot of black and a lot of pink but i feel like you wear them separately a lot yeah i do wear them separately uh now so uh when i grow up yeah <laughs> but yeah i think now like i kind of went from like went to like 
lots of pink and stuff. So it didn't end up being the black and pink, but I do just have like a few pieces that are black and pink. Cause like, I always have that little dream of mine, like, oh, my whole board just gonna be black and pink. I know. I, shout out to anybody who can keep like a consistent color scheme in mm -hmm. their wardrobe because I'm like a little raccoon just <laughs> buying whatever random crap I think is funny. <laughs> I have grown up well, Pi. Thank you. Thank you, Mani. I'm grown up. Now I look like a 50s, 50s waitress <laughs> at, the, at, the, at, like, at some truck stop diner. No, you, it's cute. Like a. <laughs> Like a 50s waitress at a cute little like milkshake restaurant. <laughs> milkshake restaurant. I always gotta wear like a little necklace and it's like, oh, and, and this is this is from my from my boyfriend, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to put on the necklace. It's okay. I don't think anybody wants nobody wants to hear about Brad. <laughs> Brad, yes. Brad. Brad. All right. So uh thank you, Kai, for submitting um your outfits. And the next slide we have everybody. Oh, no. Lonnie, stop. We also have Moni um, being, first of all, extremely adorable. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold up. Uh, their necklace is from Glee's Now on Etsy. So good. Got that jam, got that spoon, got that tart. Um, and look at this outfit. What a cutie. I know. I love that the, the little raspberry jam cookie that matches... Um, the cute little pastries on the dress and that necklace is to die for. It kind of combines like two types of jelly, right? Because it has the jam and then it has mm -hmm. high filling, which I guess is a kind of jelly, I think, right? Sure. Although I think it's more, for me, it looks more like one of those McDonald's pies. <laughs> and I say that love as somebody who loves the little McDonald's. <laughs> okay, all right. As well as like lovingly said. Yeah, it's all not right. a result. it's a compliment. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I love this. I love this snack coordinate. Uh, Mani is the most uh -huh. prompt snack. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Mani is the most snackful of all. Uh, I wrote a description in the PowerPoint for you. Oh, really? Did you? Now to go and look at it. <laughs> um, Mani said that Mani is gently gelatinous in a jam cookie cord composed of Emily Temple cute dress and bag, a Fint cardigan. Innocent World socks and various appetizing accessories. She looks nice and I want to be her friend. True. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? Anonymous author looks can be deceiving. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> looks can be deceiving. But money is great. So <laughs> money is is pretty great. Yeah. Looks are not deceiving in this case. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love I love this print, by the way. I love the stripes of it and the the, the things all over it. It's just I love it's such a great print. It is. And I love the unofficial red and white theme that everybody did. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super summery. It's a great color combo for the summer. It and is. I like the the lace cardigan, like like just a little covered up, but like also summery, you know, like a little mm -hmm. covered, but but summer, you know. A little peekaboo. <laughs> a little peekaboo. Just just very cute. Conceal and reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh all right thank you Mani, for your additions to the powerpoint thank you Mani, um, she is staff is not eligible for prizes yes that's true she's um, just submitting her coordinates for compliments compliment yeah, glory exactly she's just here to show off her gel um but next we have the slide with everybody's entries oh you cover it covered the vote for one but um next i'm going to start the poll for the court contest um so you have two minutes to vote where is it go there you go and four is gonna be a vote for kai our logo is covering it up a little bit um, yeah but i think it's given that it's one two three four i think it's there we go yeah all right shout out there you go thank you um, so yeah, please vote for your favorite uh, in the chat while I have some of my delicious treat, which I might not get to eat if I predict wrong next time. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to like enjoy the jello while I can before we have the next question because mm -hmm. I don't wanna, I don't want to go to the gallows with another spoonful of Metamucil. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, please vote in the chat now. 
um, vote for your favorite um, as we have a ha provide some jelly ASMR. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can get a little. No, I think you can mostly. Jelly AM ASMR is mostly just spoon ASMR. Mm -hmm. So, but I will say this is pretty good. It tastes like drinking um, a cup of champagne with a little lemoncello in it, which is what this is. So, yeah. Oh, it's got lemoncello in it. It called for lemon juice and vodka, but I and I didn't have either of those things, but I did have a bottle of limoncello that uh, I got for Christmas one year. So, mm. you know, it's kind of making do. Yeah, I I'm, I'm I hope this thing lasts till like the end of the night because it's like, oh, I mean it, it's holding the shape pretty well to be honest. Mm -hmm. but yeah, it is a little bit summery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is firm enough that I, I don't know if you can see, but it's like holding its shape. Uh, mm -hmm. It is not wobbling one bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's a strong jello right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Money ate a flan, by the way. Good choice. Good choice. Good, good flan choice. I actually I have a flan necklace. I could put that on somewhere. Okay. So voting is closed, everybody. Thank you so much for. Also, yeah, uh, girl squid, you are one hundred percent right. I normally do have emergency vodka, but um, these are difficult times, and I haven't been to <laughs> the grocery store for three weeks, um, and I drank all the vodka, so. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Pi, who won? Oh, good question. Um, let me close the banner. And let's see who won. Ooh. Okay, okay. I, I, I can't say it wasn't closed. But our winner is Chuzzy. Yay! A majority vote. Thank you so much, everyone, for voting. And we'll reach out to you shortly um, for a small, small prize. Yeah. Congratulations, Chazzy. Thank you and for thank entering. You. Thank you to everybody else for entering, too. All yeah. the coordinates were super cute, and I love them. Mm -hmm. And they're so adorable. Thank you so much for entering our share and contest and allowing us to toast you on stream. So thank you so much. Yay! <sighs> All right. Um, What's a what's a great way to wrap up then with some more? Next slide. Jello or hell no. Are you guys gonna make us suffer again or what? <laughs> okay, okay. We can't blame people for participating in the democratic process, okay? We can't okay. manipulate their votes. All right. Okay. They are it was my fault for guessing wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's it's the chat's fault. You can blame me. Uh, so let's see what the next question is. Um, oh, okay. Do you like Jago videos? You know, like, you know, they have those like videos where they where they like jiggle jiggle stuff. Um, that is the question. So if you're in chat right now, please vote. Do you like Jago? Oh, sorry. Hi, we have to put in our answers. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna put it now. Okay, I, I put it. I put it. My prediction. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like this. So Pi and I gave different answers this time. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see who. Let's see who. Who's gonna. Who's gonna come out on top? top. Yeah. Now open. Um, so be sure to get your votes in. Um, and Kelp asks if this is a TikTok thing. Actually, no. So I'm in a Facebook group um, about Jello, and like, literally. Every time anybody posts a jello in the group, it's like in the comments repeatedly, like, show us a jiggle bid, show us a jiggle bid, show us a jiggle bid. Oh. Um, until the original poster posts to jiggle bid. So I, I think it's like maybe it's like a TikTok and also a Facebook grandma thing. Okay. Know. Yeah. yeah I, um, I don't know. I, I thought like people like the, you know, like, yeah. They would like spend all this time making a jello and then like the, the end is just like a jiggly bit. That's what I thought. Yeah, that is the group. Uh, <laughs> Show us your aspects. Yeah, it's called Show Me Your Aspects. It's a great group if you like <laughs> Jello. Um, but there has been some interesting drama between people who think that you should only post edible Jello in the group and people who like to put weird inedible shit in Jello. Uh, um, 
And so it's been really entertaining. Like I'm on the fringes of it. So it's like entertaining to watch this drama. Mm, interesting. Um, it's yeah, it's not a fetish thing. It's just, I, it's mostly like a bunch of like grandmas. Like there's a, the age demographics are like, there's a bunch of grandmas. There's a bunch of people who are in their twenties and thirties um, bonding over their shared love of jello. It's, it's very, it's very safe for work and very charming. All um, right. All right. Yeah, I'm team inedible. I can't believe there's drama in this. Yeah, I think I I gotta say I am team inedible because it's like it, sometimes it's like weird and gross. Like there was one cat litter jelly that really was like deeply divisive among the group. Mm. Um, but for the most part, it's like you know it's just like fun. It's like art. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the time, at least to me. So yeah, okay. Um, the poll has gone on long enough, so I'm gonna close it. Yeah. And what was your prediction, uh, Purse Maiden? So I said no. And why? Well, I thought there are probably a lot of people who have, like, I feel like internet jiggle vids are maybe a niche thing that not everybody has necessarily seen or knows about. And so people who don't know about it wouldn't like it. That was that was my justification. All right. I vote yes, because I thought people, who doesn't love a little jiggle in the in the wiggle? <laughs> Who doesn't yeah. love a little jiggle and wiggling? Uh, but the poll says uh, it's a no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so I, you are, you are free to keep enjoying your delicious uh, snack, and I'm gonna take another another mouthful of this uh, Jello powder for the for the for the for the views for the yeah. memes nobody make pie laugh we don't want her to yeah don't make me laugh please hold your jelly puns till later all right here we go um, well pie we uh, we applaud you we support you please uh, drop an f in the chat to pay your respects to pie <laughs> we hope you pull through okay <laughs> Mm, no, mm, you mm, should mm, smoke a line of jello. Mm. That is extremely dangerous. You could die. Please, please don't do that. <sighs> you got some water, Pie? I got some water. All right. Oh, there's going to be jello in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I hope you enjoy jello because that taste is going to be in your mouth. <laughs> Mm. Oh man. Okay. Hey, you want to do another one? No, let's do one more. Let's do one more. All right. Yeah, I love gambling. All right. <laughs> let's risk it all. <laughs> um. Uh. I we have two questions here. Um. I guess I'll I'll let uh, I'm gonna type in the chat for Purus Maiden. Okay. To to decide which okay. question we go with. Uh, since okay. we have time. All right, that's a good one. What's the other option? I think let's go with the first one. That's a, okay. a good philosophical question. Okay, all right, all right. Um, so the question is, is boba a jelly? It's right. boba a jelly. Let's put so... our answers in the... Not confident about this answer. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I'm pretty confident. Okay, so chat, please um, again use your fingers. Uh, please vote. Is boba a jelly? Yeah. Um. So, Pai, what are your thoughts on boba? Do you have a favorite boba? Um. You know what? I like the crystal bobas. I've been recently oh. getting to those crystal bobas. There's a brown sugar one. Ooh. So that's. Um, that's definitely uh, my favorite at the moment, but I like just regular boba because like the chewiness, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I've been getting really into boba because of, you know, there's a boba street or a place that they just built right down the street from my mm. house. Um, and so I've been in an attempt to save money. I've been making it myself and I really, I got oh. this really cheap boba the other nice. day. Nice. And I've been doing, I made a drink with that and some rose syrup and some green tea and a little oat milk. That was delightful. Nice. Hold on, sorry. I have a little jello powder on me. To no, take no. care of that. Uh, one second. 
I'm going to pour into this cup. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Oh, the poll's over. All right. Let's see what everybody voted. What What did you say? So, okay. Well, I said yes because, and this might have been like a personal an like a, a personal answer for me, but I buy like the quick boba powder and it's like mm -hmm. basically tapioca flour balls right, uh, right. that you add water to and then they expand and they absorb the water and it gets squishy. And to me, that's the definition of a jelly. So it's got to be yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like I learned a lot about jelly today and I feel like boba should count, right? I think so. Yeah. Boba is like in the same family as like agar, I think. So right. did you say yes too? I said yes too. All right. And shock, surprise, uh, it's a split <laughs> decision in the chat. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> well, I do actually, I do like Frill Squid's alternative explanation of legally boba tea is not jelly, it is a noodle soup. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from and I respect it. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so I guess, yeah, so the proposal from Bay Area K is, uh, since it was a split, we got to do both. So I'm going to take a bite of my powder first, and then I will All right. it with more jelly. powder. All right. All right, I'm going to do some powder, and then I'll, I'll eat my Cheers. treat. I don't know what this mm. Hold on. I'm okay. I'm sorry, my cat's like running around my feet, making sure I haven't died. I also just want to like explain why this experience is so bad because you can't just swallow it. You have to hold it in your mouth until your spit kind of like gets it wet enough for it to go down your throat. So it's like you just have to sit there with it in your mouth for a minute, like making the face of you feeling nasty as hell. Um, come on, Pie. We're rooting for you. Oh. oh that is a mean joke, but I love I got a powder through. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, now right. that we finished the punishment, we get the reward. Mm -hmm. No, we can, we can eat this. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, now this just tastes like Metamucil and champagne. And I cannot articulate enough how disgusting it is. <laughs> yeah, well, it just, it just more, more strawberry flavor in my mouth. Mm. Mm. Fibrous champagne, yep. Yeah, anyways, don't, uh, don't get old is my recommendation to all of you. Don't get old enough to need Metamucil in your house. Yeah. Um, uh, and don't eat jello powder. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, I, th I hope that, I hope if you take away no other less, hey, you, come on, come on. Sorry, the cat is being bad. Um, but yeah, if you take away no other lesson from this panel, mm -hmm. do not eat do powder. Do not eat jello powder. Yeah, or please Metamucil. Don't. Yeah, please don't. Bad, bad, bad. bad. Yeah, bad. Uh, hopefully we don't get banned <laughs> from doing that. Ben of fiber champagne would be fine. Mm. If they if they made champagne that has fiber in it, I, I bet it would sell. And eat orange. <laughs> I just don't like. They're that. not I gonna leave you. Let you live that down, huh? I have Metamucil in my house for health reasons, and Ben of fiber is for my health issues is not a substitute because the point is, not fiber is all I will say about that. <laughs> I have all right. Fiber. <laughs> so. uh, yeah, it's very troublesome. Yeah, I bet. Um, but yeah, anyways, so thank you for uh, making us eat some more Jello guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Love the gamble. Can't believe it ended in a tie. <laughs> yeah, we'll try. We need to get better at uh, guessing the audience. Responses. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I thought it would be you know like an easier guess, but I, I guess not. Chat has proven me wrong. So I thank know. you. This um, chat is full of surprises, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, next slide. I think it's just a cover slide. Yeah. Um, so thank you very much, everyone, for joining us for Jelly July. 
for show and gel for our DIY contest and our court sharing contest and for audience participation in our Jello or Hell No. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for coming. Any final words, Purus Maiden? Um, yeah, I just got Herb in my lap. So Herb says, thank you, everybody, for coming and good night. Yeah. And don't forget, tomorrow we have the Jello Bowl. Is that correct? The Jello okay. Bowl uh, free swim. Yeah. <laughs> It's it, it's like a tea. It's not really a tea party. It's just come like hang out with us and show us your jellies and we'll hang out and chat. Yeah, it'll be super yeah, fun. Uh, yeah, the Jello pool party. Uh, that'll be happening on the Discord. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be on the Discord. Um, if you signed up, it'll start at one thirty. Um, but you know this is a little like a looser format than our traditional tea party. So if you're late, don't sweat it. Just show up when you can with your favorite jellies. Um, and we'll hang out. It'll be awesome. Yeah, so looking forward to that. And for me, I've got nothing. Just don't eat uh, jello powder. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for the fun jelly panels. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. And hope to see you guys tomorrow for the jello bowl party. Yeah. And if we don't see you, drop your feel free to drop your snacks in the Discord because we'd love to see what you exactly. need. Exactly. We would love to see what you guys made inspired by the jelly journal as well. This was definitely an inspiration. So if you got your inspired treats, please drop them off in the Discord. Yeah. All right. Also, oh. shout out oh. to Kelp who wrote all of the blog entries for the Jelly Journal. If you haven't checked that out, go to the website and you can mm -hmm. read a bunch of um, like different recipes and experiments that Kelp did. Mm -hmm. Also, They're share so a lot good. of easy recipes that are with some honest reviews. Um, so highly recommended. I mm -hmm. actually made one or two of them um, because they were doable while my fridge was broken and they turned out pretty good. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop yeah. the link in a chat. Yeah. yeah. Check out that. So check out the hashtag Jelly July and also check out the blog on the website. Um, Kelp has also been posting a lot on uh, Instagram as well under hashtag Jelly July. So check that out. Um, anything else? Nope, I think that's it. Nope. Yeah, I think that's it. So have a fun jelly July, the rest have of a it. Good evening. <laughs> and have a good evening. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.